Hey guys, hope you're doing good. So, uh, a few months ago, I started using this headline where I say, hey, we make it unusable for agency owners, online service businesses, anyone selling a high ticket service, uh, not to add an extra 50K in MRR in four to six months after you know going through our solution, which is the half a million program, okay? And lately, I've started seeing people who haven't even gone through our program or haven't really consumed uh, any of our material start using that headline. And I'm not saying that people who haven't been through our program shouldn't use such a headline, but what I'm going to be covering in this video is actually, how do you actually become eligible to be able to use such a headline or how to actually make it unreasonable for your customers to not get their outcome, okay? And the way that I wanna actually walk you guys through it is I wanna actually walk you guys through some of the back end from the program that we have, right? And why we're in a position where we can actually say and stand on it on the fact that we actually make it unreasonable for our customers not to achieve the outcome, okay? I'm not saying that every customer who ever joins our program adds 50 grand, boom, there and then. No, I'm just saying that if you actually follow our process and you implement everything, we make it unreasonable for you not to achieve it, okay? So, um, so yeah, let me actually start. So, uh, our main offer or our main promise is, hey, please add 50K in four months after we're going through our program, okay? So, what most people would do, the first option that I could leverage to get people this outcome is I could just create a course and sell it. Information. That's the first mechanism, okay? And... So that's just, hey, how can I propagate? How can I share my, the information that I have, okay? I've done that, okay? Which is here. Let me actually show you. So I've built a program or a course or content uh, around everything, right? You are the key. Designing your character. Who do you need to become? You don't make money. Importance of being a good decision maker. Inversion thinking. Six-figure identity. Seven-figure identity and decision making, okay? And the good thing with our customers, we can actually keep track of where they're at okay so that's the first module okay we have other modules around blue ocean creation offer four steps to revelation right i even shared this for free with our customers right we show them how to what is the old way of creating a business and what is the new way of actually creating a, a really proud even the actually fine service market fit right so we show them that we show them the copywriting framework we show them key to unlocking true wealth by leveraging pricing, right? How to actually start, start charging five to 10 grand per month for a service, okay? So we show them that. And then the next thing we show them is information around outbound prospecting, right? How do you actually prospect on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Evergreen, training document, right? How do, uh, how do you actually build assets? How do you distribute content? How do you build powerful content? How do you optimize your profiles? All this good stuff, okay? And then uh, we have an action plan, we have tr troubleshooting. What if something happens, right, with your campaigns where you can't really know how to troubleshoot it? Well, it's already here, right? So first mechanism is information, okay? So I've productized my information, okay? So that's the first mechanism. But is it true that people who have access to the right information achieve the outcome? No, right? So if I only had this as a mechanism and I called it, oh, the half a million course, would I be eligible to say that I can make it unreasonable for people not to, not to achieve 50K a month? Hell no. Impossible. Because I know I've been through courses of people who, who have had access to the same information as me, but they're still making like 5K a month. So I was like, well, no, I can't stop here. I can't just stop at sharing my information that I have, right? So now... What is the next thing? Well, they need the information, okay? But they also need more stuff. They need to delegate the actual work, okay? So what I did was I thought of the first system, right? Acquisition, okay? Well, let's say if they actually have the right offer, right? So we actually help our customers create the right offer here. This is the phase one. We help them find service market fit. I literally tell people, hey, stop selling this, sell this instead. Or if they already have a good offer, then we just show them how to improve the offer, the mechanism they're using, okay? And start charging two to three times as much, okay? So that's the first thing, right? But when it comes to acquiring customers, the truth is most people are lazy. So even if I showed them how to make a million dollars by 
I don't know, by leveraging a, a paid group or by showing them outbound prospecting on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, they still wouldn't be able to make it work. So what did I do? Well, I was like, well, instead of telling people about virtual assistants, right? What if I actually built a community of virtual assistants that I actually train myself, that my team trains every week, right? So when someone becomes a customer, I will show them how to do six figures uh, in 60 days or outbound prospecting framework, Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, okay? I'll show them how to build the messages, okay? I'll show them how to, uh, where to buy Asia accounts and this and that, but I'll actually delegate it to this VA, Rizal, Lloyd, Ma, Darrow, right? I'll give clients, hey, please pick whoever is fits the most and just get them, we'll get them on an interview, right? We'll get you on an interview with three people. And if you end up finding the one who you feel comfortable doing the outreach for you, perfect. Let's get them installed. Let's get them put in your company, okay? And then guess what? You won't even have to worry about training them. We'll take care of it, okay? So now, let me just see if I can. So now, we give our customers the right information on what to do. But we actually put someone in to take care of their systems, okay? So that's a more thorough mechanism, right? So I know so many influencers out there are creating courses, programs where they just tell you, oh, this is the information. Oh, this is the, but what? All the information you need is already on Google. Why don't you go on Google and become a billionaire? Because you're not going to do it, right? So um, that's the second mechanism that we use, okay? So now, um, if you actually see one of our process around acquisition, the first process we do is that we show them how to do album prospecting, right? We show them how to create the messages, show them how to build evergreen video sales letters if they're targeting, you know, local businesses and things like that, okay? We put in a virtual assistant that is trained, okay? We launch the campaign in the first seven days, okay? And this can easily generate them five to 10K a month, okay? And it only costs them 200 bucks, right? 240 if you add in some automations. And 95% of the mechanism is managed by a $3 an hour VA, right? But for those who are targeting really big companies like brands, well, it ends up happening that we get them to send personalized looms, okay? So if you actually come here, you'll see that for this customer, right? We had a VA who was in their company and they sent all these messages, right? But then my customers were still responsible to send these looms right but what ended up happening is that I started seeing that some customers okay couldn't are weren't as predictive weren't as consistent on making these looms so I was like well if my customers are getting all these leads right let me actually show them I'll show you guys how many there are because <laughs> it's ridiculous so if my customers aren't consistent on making looms right well that means that they'll never be able to book 45 meetings okay if you actually look at here right they'll never be able to book these many meetings because they're not consistent right and I was like okay perfect well I need to solve this issue right so what did I do I created another mechanism right I created <laughs> I created this opportunity for people right where you actually become a proficient personalized video sales letter creator and you join our our company right we train you okay and then we pair you with a customer who needs you to make personalized videos for them on commission basis right and let me show you what customers think of this right so if we go on Kieran right if we go at our look at our conversations right um, he's like you know drowning he's drowning at the moment low so have he has so many loom to create right so a loom creator would be game changing, right? And um, I was like, amazing, that's amazing feedback, right? And then he's like, hey, you're doing a good job. I personally like the way that you're constantly adding to the program, like bringing performance coaches, giving a film of solid value, like anyone, if anyone came in and had buyer's remorse for a month or so, pretty sure that would clear quickly. So once they actually continually see that I'm improving our mechanism, right? So I actually scheduled um, an onboarding session with the person who applied to become a video sales uh, letter creator. And now I literally solve another mechanism, which is creating looms. So now most of my customers, like if you're targeting brands, you come in, we build an outreach workflow for you, 
okay? We put a virtual assistant to take care of the outreach. And then once you start getting these many Loom requests, like 598 brands sent their emails for a Loom, guys. You can't send 500 Looms yourself, I'm sorry, right? <laughs> so now I've solved this issue, right? I've had many people uh, apply to become a proficient at creating video sales letters, right? So it's pretty good, okay? Now, actually, let me show you how it looks like, because I think it will be good. So if you actually go on my profile, maybe some of you guys would like to become proficient at creating video sales letters for our customers. So if you go on my profile and you click on the link tree, you'll see that there are uh, VSL creator, right? So there is this funnel, people watch the video, they apply, and then they get, uh, I get a notification and then they have to pay to actually become proficient at sell because I need to provide them training and I need to make sure that they're committed, okay? So now I've sold not only the, the offer because I help people create the right offer that they can charge five to 10 here for it. I build the outreach workflow. Why am I eligible to create someone's workflow? Because I ran an appointment sending agency for like six, seven months. I used to send a thousand DMs every single day. So I know how to book meetings, okay? But and then I know that most customers, right, even if they're broke, I try to say, hey, don't try, try not to, to do the work yourself. We have $3 an hour, uh, a pool of VAs. We've trained them, right? Let them do the work, okay? So now customers don't even have to do the work. And then the next issue is, hey, I'm not comfortable making looms. Okay, no worries. I'll solve that problem for you, okay? So now I've not only solved how to generate meetings, okay? Now the next issue is, well, what if customers end up getting customers? What if they actually end up signing customers, right? Well, well, that means that uh, most client, right? What ends up happening with customers is that in order to get to 50K a month, you not only need to be good with signing customers, but you need to be good at retaining customers, okay? Because there is no point in me showing you how to get 10 new customers a month if you're losing all of them the next month, right? So now I was like, well, oh man, if my program is only about client acquisition, then I can't actually help my customers build a business, right? So I need to show them how operations is done. I need to show them how to actually make sure that their backend is really thorough and that they can deliver results for our customers. So guess what I did? I talked with Lawrence, one of my ex-customer, who's uh, one of my old customers who's making 80K per month. I was like, hey Lawrence, would you like to host one call a week and actually build a program within the half million program, right? And just show how to build operations, how to find the right media buyers, show everything to our customers, okay? And then he said, yeah. So that's why on Tuesdays, for an hour and a half, you have Lawrence who's running almost a seven figure agency who will be coming in and then you can ask him whatever issues you have, okay? So now, actually it doesn't stop there. So you have one 80K person that you can ask for feedback whenever you want, okay? And then we have Sean, who's running um, a service delivery uh, program. He has his own program, right? But uh, he's a 17 year old who spent, you know, like two, three million and got and gotten $26 million in return on, on, in, uh, in revenue, okay? I was like, wow, that's an anomaly, right? Not, not many people can do it. Would you like to support our customers? and showing them how to actually deliver results for the, their customers, right? Because a lot of our customers are helping brands, right? Especially selling Facebook ad. And I was like, wow, wouldn't it val be valuable if someone who's made that kind of, uh, those returns help our customers? I was like, yeah, amazing. So what I did is, I was like, hey man, I'd love, you know, if you actually join our company and support our customers. And he did, right? So now, when you join the half a mil, <laughs> You join for acquisition, but the truth is you get so much more access to a lot more stuff, right? So if you see here, we have general, right? But let me actually show you the service delivery stuff. So uh, a few, twice a week, you'll get actually uh, support calls um, from Sean, from Lawrence, right? And they'll be talking about service delivery on things that I personally can't support you on, right? Because I'm not necessarily actively running an agency, okay? So... Um, and then you'll get everything, right? Literally everything, right? Hey, would you mind sending the doc influencer marketing 
Also, you mentioned if their AOV is less than $30, they can go through the rubber cycle. What if, what if it is more, right? Like this is not the stuff that client acquisition needs to cover, but we still cover it, right? And this is the type of stuff that you won't get if you go through, um, you know, some, some course. It's not a course, this is not a course, right? It's fast feedback, right? And, um, you know, you get access to, you know, wins and losses, right? You get to see people, oh, wow, Twitter is starting to work, okay? You get to see, wow, Twitter is working for Francesco. Maybe I should go on Twitter, right? You start seeing safe, book, uh, get a meeting. Literally, uh, Molly from, he literally just got a guest on our From Zero to Founder podcast, right? A 14 years old is getting invited on a podcast, guys. It's crazy, right? And then you get to see him uh, on, on the 3rd of November, book 19 appointments in the last week. Zero outreach, right? This means that he didn't do any cold DM, right? These are all 15. Um, he made a post and he got 15 inbound leads, right? He pitched 2.5K two, 2 offers and pitched another $1,500 deal, right? This is a kid that is still in high school, guys. Like, this is actually, sometimes, whenever I go over this, I just think that it's, it's just too good to be true at some point, right? But it's this reality, right? If you look at here, these are all meetings. I know people who go 10 years without being able to book such meetings, right? So, so this is the type of stuff that we offer, right? This is more, much more than, you know, than anything, right? And uh, strategic partnerships, right? We get our customers to collaborate within each other, right? We show them how to leverage other agencies who are already working with their ideal customers to create partnerships, right? That's how Joseph uh, signed his first 8K a month deal, right? He, he got an actual referral from another agency owner, right? We endorse, we engage with other people's profiles to increase their, um, the, you know, their engagement. Uh, we get outreach channels where it's just specifically on outreach, email concerns. We help people with their email outreach. I'm not even an expert at email, but I got Siobhan who's running an email outreach agency, right? Personalized lines to support our customers, okay? Like it doesn't stop here, right? And then let's say you're having issues. You just bought an Instagram and you can't really access. Cool, perfect. Let's let Belle help you, right? She she literally found the, the, the email in this like weird looking like code stuff, right? And then uh, you get you get uh, you know Shannon asking questions like, "Hey, guys, this is a bit weird, but I've had a few potential client who's sent me via referral, and we proposed a full done with you package. They were keen to sign. You know, you know, should I drop them? I was like, no, don't drop them. Just automate follow up once a month for twelve months. Systematize follow ups. It shouldn't be an emotional decision, right? If a prospect has a problem, you spam them until they let you solve that problem, and you change your life." and their business, right? And they end up thanking you later, right? So this is the, the kind of stuff that we do, right? And then the another thing is, you rarely ever join a program that keeps track of everything, of every customer, right? So if you actually look at here, we know where every customer is at, right? We know, we tell them, hey, skip Australia and New Zealand brands, right? Focus on US, Canada, right? When we see, look at their sheet and we see that they're trying to target Australia, we're like, hey man, like Australia is closed down. Why are you targeting Australia, right? And then we need to, hey, you need to increase the volume as volume is not enough. If account is you, get another account, right? We keep track of every customer, guys, because that's one of the main component at making it unreasonable for someone not to give up on their 50K a month goal, right? Cause it's not easy, guys. Like I'm, I'm not saying that, you know. I, I, I may throw this around like, oh, add an extra fifty k per month. But the truth is, there's only a tiny percentage of people who actually make fifty k a month on Earth, right? So this is a big outcome, and it requires a lot of mechanisms, right? Um, I'm trying to see if I forgot anything. Uh, you know, you get on live calls with me. Just like Safe is doing, right? Safe is the only, that's the only thing he's doing and he's booking almost what? How many meetings have you booked up, up until now, Safe, in the past? I booked book five yesterday for one post. Right? So you get to see what Safe is doing, right? And I'm not going to share this whole video, but he actually shared his screen and showed our customers what he's doing, right? So not only do you get to learn from me, but you get to also learn from what other customers are doing to win, right? Because one of the biggest issues with joining big communities is that you see people making 50k a month. You see people making 100k a month. 
But these guys are never sharing what they're doing, right? I'm t trust me, go find any community out there, especially these courses community where they jump on support calls, let's say twice a week, right? Nobody's sharing what they're doing to win. But for us, it's a requirement, right? Because if I see safe booking 19 meetings a day from a single post, I want more customers to do the same thing, right? And I'll ask safe, actually, oh, I don't want to show it because you guys will see, <laughs> you guys will see the link and you guys will go, they'll go check it out. But I would have showed you a video that safe actually did multiple videos showing our customers how to leverage a paid audience, right? Because he's been killing it, right? Um, what else? What else can I show you guys, right? Uh, about how we make it unreasonable, right? So now, so just to summarize everything, in order to be able to use the headline of we make it unreasonable for you not to achieve the outcome, you need to be able to solve everything that would keep a customer from not achieving it, right? So for me, when I was making a list of what would keep my customers from, um, from not achieving the, the outcome, I, I did this kind of list, right? I first wrote the story of our client acquisition, right? And I first mentioned who our ideal product could be for, right? And I'm, I wrote down what is the before state of most of our customers, right? Well, most of our customers, before they come join us, they're either relying on one or two channels to generate meetings for our customers, but this channel is starting to underperform or it can't get them to the next level, right? They're selling really low ticket offers and working like slaves. There is zero predictability in their current sales process, so they can't really generate meetings on demand. They're starting to realize that their sell, what they're selling isn't really wanted by the market. Too much competition. Example, Facebook ad, right? We get our customers to switch from Facebook to start selling like email marketing. We get four customers in the first four weeks. Like, that's insane, right? After like seven months of struggling trying to sell Facebook, hey man, don't struggle with Facebook. Go sell what people in the market want, right? They're looking to join a community of people who are on the same mission as them, right? You need an environment, right? They need to belong to something bigger than them, right? Uh, they're working inside the business too much. They're doing outreach themselves. They're doing sales calls themselves, which is crazy. Uh, they're tired of making baby money since they believe that they have an amazing service product, right? Some of you guys who are watching this video know that you have an amazing product, an amazing service, but how do you make sense of only making 10K a month? I don't get it, right? They lack the guidance and support. They're mostly relying on a 1K course to provide them with all the insights. They need to build a multiple six and seven figure business. It's impossible, right? They need to systematize acquisition. They're looking to add more channel of acquisition. The cost to acquire customers is too high. I see people trying to do Facebook, a Facebook ad to get meetings. I'm like, are you crazy? I've made, right? Let me actually show you guys. If we go on Stripe, and we look at all time, okay? In the past year, right, I started making money with my agency in like November 2020, <laughs> which is crazy. And in the past year, we've made, oh, you know, we've made 300 grand, right? I've done it by spending the most, in the past four, two years, I've only spent $60 on ads. And I spent it to get maybe two meetings, right? And I stopped after that, right? I've been able to generate almost, you know, will probably generate half a million before the year ends, right? Because it's like compounding like crazy nowadays. And I've done it without paid ads, right? So when I see people uh, trying to do paid ads before they even make their first six figures, right? I'm like, what are you doing? You don't need paid ads to, to, to make your quarter of a million or even 500K, okay? So stop the madness, right? Maybe people, they've already tried ads, they've already tried virtual assistants, they've already tried appointment setting agencies, but nothing really delivered the way that they wanted it to. They're looking for accountability, right? Some people just join our environment because they want me to say, hey man, you're not a shark. You're not achieving your goals. What the hell are you doing, right? Some people just want that. They'd rather join our community to just make sure that I'm there to be like, yo, what the F are you doing, right? And I do that. I get customers and I'd be like, Yo, I haven't seen you for a week. What are you doing? Show up to support calls, please, right? They don't know how to create highly converting videos. They don't know how to create content that sells. They don't know how to create video sales areas, right? And then I made a list of like, what is the after state, right? Once customers have gone through this program, well, they have an offer that the market is screaming for. They're able to charge two or three times. They, it makes it unreasonable for prospects to say no. 
They don't have any more competition in their niche, right? They have access to an audience, right? I've made, you know, just 300K from leveraging audiences, right? And I know some influencers are starting to tell y'all how to leverage audiences, but come on, guys. Come and learn from, you know, the people who did it to actually, you know, make multiple six figures, okay? In the first year of business, okay? So they now can create many pieces of content that sell at scale, right? I'm probably the GOAT when it comes to selling through videos at scale, right? <sighs> uh, guys, like, you know, I create one hour and 40 minute via sales, guys. Like, this is not some, like, check this out, right? And maybe if you're watching this video and you haven't watched this VSL, go watch it. This is an hour and 40 minutes, guys. Like, who you know shows you how to create two hours of video to sell people. 400 people almost watch, watch this video, right? If you look at the conversion, see engagement. 13% of people clicked on the book a call, right? After watching this video. Do you know how many, shit, I don't even want to talk about that, but we're going to talk about some other stuff. Of course, we're talking about you right now, right? And then I went ahead and talked about all the market's problems, manually doing outreach. This is a big problem. We solve it with this feature, and then there's a benefit that comes with it. Lack of a proven and more effective process to book meetings, this is a big issue. We solve it. This is the solution we offer, and then there's the benefit. And then most agencies, online service, have incomplete offers, offer the market doesn't really, the market doesn't really want, right? They don't know how to create sales arguments. Guess what? We solve it, right? And then what's the benefit? When you have the right offer, everything else in your business works seamlessly. Your response rate goes up, your sales calls booking rate goes up, you can charge more and make more profits. You can delegate your whole business to high output people, right? People who charge two grand per month. How the hell do you even find someone to pay to deliver for 2k a month it's impossible right you need to charge high ticket and to charge high ticket you really need a good thorough offer okay and you can't really say that you make it unreasonable for people not to achieve an outcome if you're charging two grand it's impossible right if you come to me and you're like hey search let me change your business for 500 bucks i'll be like what the hell do you even do with 500 bucks you can't even buy food for a whole month right so you definitely cannot change my business for 2K a month. It's impossible, right? Lack of the right environment. This is a big issue that people face, right? We solve it, right? Five times or more support calls every week. Discord, you're, I'm one message away, right? You're the average of five people you surround yourself with. We have people making 80K a month. We have people making 15K a month a day, right? So hard time locating qualified prospects. If you have this issue, then you're gonna be broke for a long while. Selling at scale, creating authority, uh, stuck charging low price ticket prices, right? This is our issues, right? Lack of training for their VAs. Most people never know how to make it work with the VA, right? Relying on one acquisition channel. Most people are stuck through emails. And I'm like, what the hell are you guys doing? Not knowing what their next step should be, right? Most agencies can keep their customers for more than one or two, three months. And this is the, this is the sad truth, right? So if I don't bring in some guys to actually help you guys, I don't even care if I'm good at acquisition, you guys won't be able to scale the business, right? So I solved it, right? Within the program, our focus is to help customers get more customers, but we don't stop there. We provide a process around hiring A players and how to build a done with you consulting program that can be offered to their customers to make it unreasonable for new clients not to achieve the desired results as soon as possible, right? So I'm not saying that you have to necessarily grow a whole business to solve other problems, right? So if you look at here, I say that we introduce new features to be able to solve, um, to create a really good offer, but maybe those features could be introduced into uh, a consulting program, right? Or maybe a done with you thing, right? Let's say you're selling Facebook app, but you still need uh, creatives. You don't need to build the whole department that does creatives in your agency. We can show you how to Done, build a process for your customers to do it themselves, right? So those are the kind of things we do, right? So um, Yeah, guys like this is not This is not the same thing that you guys are used to right you, you're, you're not able to tag uh, The person who sold you, you know, high ticket program just like here and have them review your offer, right? You know I literally get customers tagging me and I get you know, I get to just check out everything, right? They get my feedback immediately, okay? So this is what you're paying for. This is why you. This is why our program is so high ticket. It's probably higher ticket than, we're probably in the top 10% of the most 
of the, of the programs that cost the most. Why? Because we're not here to just get your customers. We're here to change your life, right? And we change your life by doing a few things. Showing you how to get customers, showing you how to improve your thinking and decision making, showing you how to create really good offers that people actually want. Why are we able to do this? Because I've served over 150 customers in the last eight months and I've seen many fail, I've seen others succeed. So I just let you know what is actually succeeding for other customers. So you get to just hit the ground running, okay? And then we automate your acquisition. We put people that we train ourselves. We don't, we don't, we don't even want you to know how to train people. Let us handle it, okay? And then the next thing is that you're lazy. So you probably won't be creating looms that frequently. Cool, don't worry about that. I'll solve it for you, okay? I'll train other people to take care of and install them and you only pay them commission once you sign a deal, okay? And then the other thing is fast feedback, right? I've gone through courses, I've gone through consulting accelerator, I've gone through this and that, but at some point I know what to do, but I get stuck at some little tiny issue. Maybe it's like getting my ads manager to work. Maybe it's getting um, my credit card on the file in the business uh, manager on Facebook, right? And I spent three days before knowing how to fix it. When, for us, all you really have to do is just tag me and say, hey, Serge, can you review my offer? Or, hey, Serge, can you review this VSL? Or, hey, Serge, can you review this? Or just tag my team members, say, hey, uh, I'd love to have a one-on-one -on -one session and you can actually help me with this. And we do it immediately, right? Or you can just jump on one of the three calls that I host a week. On Monday, 9 a.m., I host a call. Friday, I host a call about outreach. And then Wednesday, I host, or Friday, I host one last call around accessing brands and leveraging them, right? These are all, like, four or five hours of our time that you can spend with me, right? If you show up to these calls every single week, it becomes unreasonable for you not to, not to make 50K a month, okay? Because you have everything. We systematize your acquisition. We show you how to, we help you deliver, right? We give you an environment of people on the same mission so you, it's hard, much harder for you to quit and give up on your dreams, right? And we're just sharks. We're just a community of sharks who are just like killing it, right? 14 year olds, 17 year olds, right? Um, you know, we have people like making big horse, like they're even betting and making money, right? <laughs> like I think he made 40K from a $35 bet, right? David, right? Um, we have my, from uh, Alex, right? He joined uh, a, a few weeks ago. Marie has been doing outreach for just three days. She already booked the first meeting. Boom, right? Uh, John, his, uh, I think he's like, you know, 17, 18. He's uh, closing deals like consistently, right? We have Javier, who's in Mexico, right? He literally gave me his last $1,500 to join the program, right? In July, August. Now he's making 12K MRR without considering return on outspan. Do you guys know how, how good this makes me feel? Knowing that... A kid in Mexico is making like, you know, that kind of money. It's insane. And that's why we do it. Okay. So um, I'm not necessarily the, the, the most famous person. So I know that you will have more. So you will probably buy from the person who has the most social proof. But if you actually want to buy from someone who, who makes it unreasonable for you not to achieve the outcome. Okay. Then hit me up. Book a call. Don't, don't you know, using the link below. Let me show you how it's done, okay? But the main reason why I was making this video is to actually show you guys like how big you have to think when it comes to before you try leveraging that headline of we make it unreasonable for people not to achieve their outcome. Like, no, you're not doing as much work, right? You haven't put, you know, you're not spending multiple six, five figures in payroll every month I am. When I could literally just save that money. I don't need to hire anyone. I could just get people information. Hey, here's the course. Bye. I'll just host two calls a week, but I don't do that. Because I know that that's not how I get customers' results. So instead of saving 20 grand a month and buying a Porsche or living in a penthouse, I put it back in the business to, 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 to do why. Because if you get to add 20K a month and I help 100 people do it, then I never have to worry about anything. Because right? if customers win, I win automatically, right? 
And that's the mindset that I see so many people who are putting out courses, they don't understand. It's like, no, your course will not change anybody's life. It will help them. It will help them see the world maybe differently, right? But if you actually want to help someone, you need to not focus on scalability. You actually need to get in the trenches with them, right? I get on calls on Sunday at like 9 p.m. with customers who are in like Australia. I don't need to do that, but I have to do it because they need my help. And that's why they invested a lot of money with me, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Like, um, you know, if you want to scale past six figures a month, then we show you how to install the sales team. Then we show you how to uh, maybe productize your service, right? Uh, and then maybe we show you how to build sales assets like the one I'm building right now. And um, we could take you to the moon, okay? Thank you, guys. I appreciate you all. And uh, by the way, in the next few days, I'll be making a really cool announcement when it comes to payment options for our program. So if you want to join our program, you might have the opportunity to join in for a lower fee and just pay the rest over a few months, okay? I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching this video. It's pretty long, 35 minutes, but you know, I hope this helps you out. Bye-bye.